boys. Two of them. One in hospital packaging, boys with infant pattern baldness, slung in the arms of parents, boys dreaming of breasts, enter the house. Boys enter the house in baseball gear, only one of the boys can hit, in their spikes, in mismatched tube socks that smell like Stilton cheese. Boys call each other retard, homo, geek, and later, necklace thug, theater fag, and enter the house, exchanging further epithets. Boys enter the house on vacation, each clasps the hand of the other with genuine warmth. The one wearing dark colors and having shaved a portion of his head, the other having grown his hair out longish and wearing, uncharacteristically, a tie-dyed shirt. Boys, hold open the threshold. Awesome threshold that has welcomed them when they haven't even been able to welcome themselves. That threshold which welcomed them when they had to be taken in. Here is its tarnished knocker. Here is its euphonious bell. Here's where the boys had to sand the door down because it would never hang quite right in the frame. Here are the scuff marks from when boys were on the wrong side of the door demanding. Here's where there were once milk bottles from the milkman. Here's where the newspaper always landed. Here's the mail slot. Here's the light on the front step illuminated. Here's where the boys are standing as that beloved man is carried out. Boys. No longer boys. Exit.